Hello, I'm photographer Joshua Klein, and I want to talk a little bit about albums today, uh, specifically wedding albums, but you could use these for other purposes certainly as well, bar bat mitzvahs, uh, sweet sixteens and quinceaneras, and any other kind of event really. There's a lot of confusion when it comes to albums. There's a lot of terms out there. Um, it can be quite complicated. It took me years to kind of figure it all out myself. Um, this is what I call a magazine album. Other photographers call this a magazine album as well. It's printed like a book. Uh, so some, some photographers might call it a press printed album, meaning that it's printed on a press. Um, as you can see, it's printed like a book, much more affordable than the, the traditional flush mounts. The photos are printed directly on the page. Um, this particular book um, I really like a lot. It comes from Autorama Photo in New York. I've tried a lot of different uh, press printed magazine style products and this is by far the best one I've uh, tried. Um, it is real photo paper but not all of these uh, magazine albums are. And the photos are printed directly on the page. Um, this particular book has hinged paper so it lays flat which is uh, very important in my opinion, makes for a much uh, better book. It also allows you to uh, design more to the edge and you can even design across the page as well as you'll see in a moment. These are some engagement photos that I kind of put together in this book to show it. The pages are thicker than your average book but certainly not thick like a um, flush mount album um, because again it is printed directly on the page. They're rigid and they have been multi-coated. So you are supposed to be able to spill on this book and wipe it clean and it, it is supposed to hold up to that. Uh, I don't believe that it's as durable as a flush mount album. Just page through it a little bit. These are some album uh, spreads from weddings. The other thing that I that I really love about these books is that I can do a full color spread on the outside as well, as you can see. Just to give you a feel for the thickness of the book. This is a 12 by 12, which is the largest size I offer. Um, I haven't really seen much bigger than that offered by anybody. Um, I do these books a uh, similar style in 11 by 9 for my parent albums as well. Okay, moving on. Next is the flush mount. The flush mount is the traditional book that many people get. Uh, it's much more expensive. They call it a flush mount because these are real photos that are printed in traditional uh, chemical process and then they're mounted to a parchment paper. Um, in this case, uh, I design all of mine in a panoramic fashion, meaning that I design 12, well in this case, 8 by 16 spreads. Uh, if it was a 12 by 12, it would be 12 by 24 as you'll see in the next book. This has much thicker pages, much more rigid as you can see. Basically it's a photo and then there's a backing like a parchment, heavy parchment paper and then it gets a multi-coating over the top for UV protection and other things. As you can see we can design across the page. This album gets quite a bit of abuse. Um, I would say that this is probably pretty analogous to a wedding album that you might have for 20 or 30 years, simply because I'm showing it all the time. It goes to wedding shows. It um, gets shown at all my appointments. So it gets, it gets a lot of wear and tear. It's thrown in my car a lot. I'm not that great with it. So this is a pretty good indication of uh, the durability of the album. So as you can see, it has a spine. Um, these are available in leather. I actually don't recommend leather. I think the, uh, the imitation leather looks better. It's more consistent. 
So I actually do not get the real leather books, but I can. I do have it as an option. It's not a significant amount more. So again, this is an 8x8. Eight eight. This next book is a 12x12. 12 12. This book also has a full photo cover. This next book is a 12x12. 12 12. The other thing you notice about this book is it has a photo inset on the cover, which is an additional charge. Uh, the other things we can do is we can do um, a lettering on it. Uh, we can also do cameo, which is where you cut, you cut out a, uh, a square in the cover and you can see the photo on the other side. That is a, a less expensive option. Uh, when we design an album, the, the way the process works, um, I give my clients a couple of options. One, uh, you can pick out all your own photos and send them to me. Or two, I can do a first pass at it, pick out some photos, and then we can, uh, we can go from there. Uh, what, what typically happens if I pick them out is I'll pick out, if it's, say, a 30-side album, I'll pick out maybe 90 to 120 photos. I'll post them in a gallery online. You'll go and you'll look and you'll tell me, you know, I, I really need a, more pictures of such and such person or I would like to see uh, less of this or, you know, could you swap out this photo for this photo? And so it'll be a collaborative process. We'll go back and forth and we'll get the, the images themselves laid out in terms of which images we're going to use. Then I'll go ahead and design the book. Again, I'll post it and then you can make your changes and comments at that point. So as you can see, there's a lot of variety of design that I, that I do in a book like this. So again, that's the 12 by 12. It comes in a, in a box, just so you can see the presentation of this album. It would arrive in a box. It would also have a, a dust cover on it or a, a bag, basically, like a cloth bag. So it comes in a nice box. And that's your flesh mount album. Again, the, the flush mounts are more considered more durable than the uh, magazine styles albums. Moving on to some prints. Um, I offer two different kinds of uh, artwork ready to hang in your home. Um, I'm not calling them frames because, as you can see, they don't have frames. I really like these products. Um, they're not for everybody. They're they're not traditional. Um, I love the, the frameless look and that it floats right off the wall. So this is a thin gallery wrap. So it's a photo that's basically wrapped onto a backing board, and it comes with its own mounting block, as you can see right here. And so what this allows you to do is hang it right on your wall. Uh, you don't need to frame it. There's no matting. It just floats very elegantly right off the wall. It's a beautiful product. Um, it's, it's more affordable than framing large prints, and we can do this in a lot of very large sizes. It has a nice uh, multi-coating on it, as you can see. This Again, this goes with me all over the place. It gets touched by hundreds, and if not thousands, of people, and it still looks pretty good. Uh, so the, the coating really holds up. So imagine you know, if it's in your home, um, how how good it'll look and how long it'll last with much less abuse. This next product is very cool. This is my favorite um, option. It's a metal print. So the photo is actually printed. Uh, it's like a pigment dye that gets injected into a aluminum, a glossy aluminum sheet of metal. So it's printed directly on metal. Again, it has a mounting block so that it floats right off the wall. I love these products. They're very unique, incredibly durable. Uh, the only thing you have to watch with these is they can get scratched. So you certainly, you know, if you were had it low on your wall, you wouldn't want to brush by it with a set of keys or something like that. You could put a gouge or a scratch in it. But other than that, it's incredibly durable. Again, it has a UV coating, so it's su supposed to resist the sunlight very well. This is another photo that goes with me all over the place, uh, bridal shows, appointments, and you know it looks looks pretty flawless. 
as you can hear, it's uh, it's made out of metal. Very unique product, one of a kind product that you can hang in your home. These have only been around for, um, to my knowledge, for a couple of years, and they're only available. Um, they're probably as their popularity grows, will be available at more places. But as far as I know, there's only only a couple of labs that are producing this product, so it's harder to find. Just give you a feel for the thickness.